time for some new tie rod and links. Place the worn out ones that are on this car right now. Let's get to it. Hey guys, what's, up? what's going on? Welcome back to another video, another vlog here at Steve's place again. Uh, as you can see, oh, you got you see, you guys see the the new wheels. You know, if you saw the last vlog. I put on these new wheels and they look nice. They drive nice, they look nice, you know, I'm happy with them. But right now, today we are gonna be rolling the fenders and doing the tie rod end, uh, end links. Because those are worn out. Eventually I'm gonna get coils and lower the car, roll the fenders just to, you know, in preparation to that. So let's uh, get to this. By the way, I'm also using Moog tie rod end links. I got them off Rock Auto. They were pretty cheap and it's one of their more popular choices in terms of tie rod end links for this car specifically so you know why not buy them problem solver <laughs> wow that's that they actually have that that's on. where you put the clip of the block 40 <laughs> <Of> the, <laughs> this 40 caliber end links so. <laughs> right, so we got the car raised about to take off the wheels and all that so yeah all right, so Steve is starting on this side to start rolling. Luckily, these front fenders actually are kind of uh, folded in a little bit. I don't know if they were previously rolled or that's how they were that's from the... Uh, the lip is really thin. Okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna be over on this side to work on this tie rod end. It looks pretty simple. All I gotta do is take out this uh, cotter pin, take out this nut, and it pops out. And then I think all you gotta do is unscrew it off. It seems pretty simple, but yeah, we'll see. Let's try it out. slight delay because we had to go to AutoZone and get a 24 mil wrench because we didn't have one and you need one for the lock nut that goes right here. It goes behind the actual uh, end link. Uh, so yeah, we did that and it made the job a lot easier. Who would have thought? All right, these moved ones have these Zerk fittings that go on the top so you can fill uh, these full of grease. Put these Zerk fittings on before we put it on the actual tie rod end. So one thing we forgot to do when we went to AutoZone is to get a grease gun with grease to fill these tie rod ends, these new ones. All right, I think it's in. Should be in enough, yep. Throw this back on. After this job, you need to get a steering alignment. So what we're gonna do is kinda just eyeball it kind of, turn the wheel as much as like this because this is where we had it. All right, so I'm kinda eyeballing more or less where this, uh, needs to go and then putting in the new castle nut. The new cotter pin. I'm not gonna bend it just yet because we might need to adjust it. Who knows? We can go ahead and tighten down with this uh, lock nut. Hey! I got the MVP! Hey! <laughs> AC picked up that new COD mobile. I haven't played it yet, but... It's literally I, my first game. <laughs> I heard it's actually pretty good, like... It's reminiscent of the old uh, Call of Duty stuff, despite the fact that it's on mo mobile. But anyway, so what I did here, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, and we'll get back to you uh, once we go get a uh, grease gun. Eventually. Alright, so we went to AutoZone again, picked up a grease gun, oh, loaded it. What are you trying to do? This, this is a plunger, it's supposed to like oh. push the grease. Probably read the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna fill up the tie rod because there's there's no grease in them. And call it good. So yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oh, not this one. Okay. I'll do this one. 
at least one this one. did the other side in like five minutes, so. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the uh, tie rod ends greased up. Everything seems to be pretty good. We kind of had a little bit of a uh, trouble with the grease gun because the, the nozzle, the tip part of it, like, came off and some pieces fell out and we were like, oh damn, like, how's this gonna work now? But it, it seems to have worked because we filled one side, it didn't look like it was working, but then we saw grease coming out of the actual uh, end link. So we we're like, oh, this thing's full. So we did it again on this side. It seemed to work, it seemed like, okay, so whatever. I'm gonna throw on the tires on this. I know this video was supposed to be about tie rod ends, and rolling the fenders, but we kind of didn't focus on that. Steve rolled this fender, and he's about to roll the other fender, and then next week we'll do the rears, because we kind of got like sidetracked with mostly the tie-in, the tie, tie rod ends and whatnot. So, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe, like this video, and I'm gonna end this video with some B-roll of Steve rolling that fender. We'll catch y'all later, guys. Peace.